This emergency cholera treatment center in Mogadishu that is supported by the UN's Children's Fund has been very crucial in controlling the spread of the disease since the start of the year. This child is the latest cholera patient to be admitted here after developing symptoms. His mother says his condition is stable now. My child experienced a running stomach on Friday. His situation worsened on Saturday. We brought him to the center on Monday, and thanks to the doctors, he's doing well now. My child has been ailing for the last two weeks, experiencing severe fever and a running stomach. He was admitted here on Monday. He received some medications and his condition is improving. More than 15,000 cases of cholera have been recorded in Somalia since January. Health officials here say recurrent conditions such as drought and torrential rains resulting in flash floods have contributed to the spread of the waterborne disease, mainly among the children. We have registered fewer cholera cases during the last three months compared to the first quarter of the year where the situation was out of control. And this was due to conditions such as the drought, high temperature and flooding, as well as the rainy season. UNICEF says it is working with Somali authorities and other partners to provide safe drinking water to the population, especially children, to avoid the spread of waterborne diseases such as cholera. Drinking water in Somalia mostly is from shallow wells and this is because of the contamination that happened during the El Nino that we experienced late last year and early this year. The issues are around provision of very safe drinking water through digging uh, deep boreholes and also ensuring hygiene and the practices that are actually at the community level. These are the critical areas where we really need to work together with partners to support the Somalia community. The most important aspect of it is around the vaccination. Uh, we supported the government, UNICEF and WHO, to conduct uh, oral uh, vaccination campaigns where we have oral vaccines being um, administered in the communities. And this is, in the long term, one of the measures that is being put in place to prevent the chronic uh, epidemics around Korea. Somalia's health sector, which is recovering from decades of conflict in the country, depends on the support of international organizations such as UNICEF and WHO to deal with emergency cases such as this latest outbreak of cholera. Hamid Kahir, CGTN, Nordisho, Somalia.